and welcome to my second video. We I'm really sort of running away with myself now. Um, so this is for my or our weekly budget. Um, I kind of briefly explained on my previous video. I myself, I'm salaried, so we use that money for our kind of fixed monthly expenses. I get paid monthly and my partner gets paid weekly. His income does fluctuate quite a lot because he does have the opportunity for quite a lot of overtime normally. So that's where our general weekly spending and sinking funds come from. So I'm just, I'm very conscious. I've got my windows open because it's like a greenhouse in here, but the lovely farmers around me are working really hard um, to bring in the harvest. So I do apologize if you can hear that in the background. And my dog at some point may have his little mad five minutes as well. So yeah, sorry about that in advance. So let's get started because I'm babbling. So this was a very good week for my fiance. He bought in eight, hundred pounds the only other money we've got is um 10 pounds from selling something on marketplace so 10 pounds not sure on my sheets yet uh this is very much in its early stages but we'll just kind of see how it goes might get a bit messy not gonna lie um it's kind of got to the point where I've been thinking about this for so long. If I don't do it, I never will. Um, I'm an overthinker. I kind of strive for perfection. As you can see, I will never get there. <laughs> it's all very rusty. But yeah, I've taken the plunge. Um, so yeah, bear with me on that front. Um, so yeah, obviously our total for this week is £810. Um, again, not sure on my sheets. Um, if I hop to our sort of online banking, our car account um, has got £115. This is what we kind of aim for each week. Um, and my partner's spending money for the week is £65, which I appreciate to sound an awful lot. We try and kind of balance this out so we could go a lot harder, a lot heavier with our debt payoff, but we feel like we need to strike a balance and kind of live a little bit as well. This £65 also, due to the nature of his work, well, and my work really, we, we work out on the road an awful lot of the time. So both of us are kind of relying on eating out you know, whether that be a meal deal from Tesco's or a cheeky McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> we both eat a bit rubbish, really. Um, but we haven't really found a good solution to keeping food in the car um, safely and cold. I don't know. There, there's probably a solution out there, but oh, for the time being, that kind of suits our lifestyle maybe not our waistlines but it kind of gets us through the week so we might explore that or kind of look into that at a later day so these are obviously they don't come out as cash they just go um straight from the from one bank to um another bank or pops so this is all the money that we withdraw so we should have well, I'm going to write it, a total of £375 in cash. Now, this is my first cash count on camera. A lot could go wrong, so please do bear with me. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 92. Oh gosh, look at me. I'm not quite professional with this yet. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, <clears throat> 60, 70, 80, 90, 3. Uh, 5, 10, 50. 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So yeah, that's all there. And we have this rather annoying curly five pounds, which I will get rid of straight away. Um, so let's just pop these in there. Good. So, this is really exciting. What I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to sort of copy what I've done here, um, but I'll just kind of run through them as we go somehow. So, yeah, everyone else is very organised and I am not, so I do apologise. So, we're doing my purse first. Um, I think this is the is it the Safiano, Safiano or Safiana wallet um, from Filofax? It's amazing. I love it. So I would highly recommend it. It is a bit pricey, but you know, it's for budgeting. Um, so we'll start with our food shop. Oh, that's gonna annoy me. <sighs> so we need 75 pounds for that. So 20, 40, 60, 75. Um, beauty is 30. This is all kind of um, from now. You know, these ones apart from the food shop, it's my sort of spending money if you like I just kind of categorize it um spending so that's sort of just my general spending really um and what I do um is just sort of divide it between these three I'll probably sort of break it down but I won't do that on video just um I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it yet so uh um, some spending is 35 pounds so 20, 35. So that's all my bits in my wallet. And now we're on to the exciting part. Well, I'm excited anyway, but I'm a bit sad. Okay, so heating oil. Um, Kerosene, this, uh, could, because we're quite rural, we do rely on heating oil and it has just gone up exponentially. I know everybody's struggling with their sort of energy bills at the moment, but I just, when I look back at what I used to pay, it's actually very frightening. A nursery gets 40, so 20, 40. So this covers anything nursery related, so um, obviously our fees and um, things like lunches at the moment, um, we're going to build up a bit of a buffer, so we've got some set aside for um, holiday clubs and things next summer, didn't really think about it this year, but next year we might not be able to sort of rely on parents and things to look after them when we haven't got holidays. So. Um, Right, uh, fifteen pounds for children. Ten, fifteen. So this is anything they need, really. Um, you know, clothes, shoes, and things. Um, just kind of build that up, hopefully. Christmas, fifteen again. Ten, fifteen. Um. With Christmas and birthdays, I'm kind of aware they're sort of creeping up on me. So it might be that towards, as we get closer, I need to like put a little bit more in um, to cover Christmas and things. Gifts, again, 15. So this covers any birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Gifts for, I don't know, friends and things, anything like that. 
um, hair in 15, so we're a family of four. So this covers all of our haircuts and things. Sorry, 15 in there. Family fun, um, we'll get 10. So this is kind of going towards days out on things. Um, it fluctuates, sometimes we'll spend a bit more than this, but um, anything over this will kind of take from our own personal budgets, I think. Um, kids clubs, it's 20, so 10, 20. We have a son and a daughter. Um, they both currently, well, my, my daughter does ballet, my son does football, um, and hopefully we're going to build up a little bit in here to start their uh, swimming lessons soon because they're three and four so I want to kind of start thinking about them starting that soon because I do do think that's quite important. Um, holiday gets ten. We've got a few days away at the end of the summer holidays um it's already paid for so this is kind of just spending money really um dentist 15 i need a filling my partner needs a filling um <laughs> so hopefully that's going to build up a little bit in there um health 10 pounds so my partner and my my partner and i both need um medication monthly which is about a tenner each and then we both need to see the um <laughs> the chiropractor so we're going to save a little bit for that opticians 10 um school five so this is for things like uniform school photos which um so my little boy will start school in September actually my um daughter who's younger she's still in preschool for another year um but things like school photographs and stuff I really didn't appreciate how much they cost so just trying to spread the cost a little bit um we've got rabbits um so anything they need sort of hay and feed wise they're fairly good they live inside you can actually probably hear them in the background um so they don't need an awful lot um often their food kind of comes out of our food budget um so it's maybe just building up a little bit really pet fund um five anything so we've got two rabbits and a dog um occasions we'll get five so for example um we're going to our friend's wedding in a couple of weeks time we're not staying away but if we were uh, my partner and I were staying away that sort of covers anything like that garden five <laughs> it's a very normal amount really but we need a lot of money spending on the garden and things <sighs> this won't you know it's hardly anything but at least we're kind of putting something away and house gets five now i've obviously calculated this wrong because i wasn't expecting a five left over so that's a good start um i don't know i'll have to double check but i'll do that off camera so I do not bore you and then debt so with this um, I'm just going to plonk it in this envelope so this is obviously what we sold on marketplace um, and just sort of I don't know build this up over a month I guess um, so I can see something hopefully more tangible I've got a lot of stuff up as there at the moment all my partner has as well so hopefully we'll get a little bit more and then we can just chuck it at the debt that's kind of our focus at the moment. Um, so yeah, that is me for my cash stuffing. Let's just refer back to my sheet. I realise whatever I 
do here might not add up because I've obviously got an, an extra fibre. What I will do is if it is kind of just hanging about and I don't really need it, I'll pop it into that debt envelope as well. So, um, so we had £800 coming in this week. Um, we took 115 from the car uh, for the car account um, and 65 pounds for uh, my partner's spending. We then took 375 pounds for sort of um, cash stuffing and cash envelopes, um, which leaves us with 205 pounds so obviously we haven't taken it out as um as cash but that will go um to uh, straight towards a credit card um yeah so that's my first kind of weekly um cash stuffing i i hope that made sense obviously typical me i've gone wrong somewhere um couldn't really write it could you but um yeah this will be the kind of the typical format i suppose um of my weekly budgets a bit of a calamity that's where we're at so thank you so much if you stuck with me this far i really do appreciate it hopefully i'll see you soon i'm planning a couple of videos so i'm going to do a bit of an explainer to kind of get a bit of context um and i'm also going to explain about inspired by dave ramsey and Oh, we're kind of Dave Ramsey-ish um, and then I'll just have my regular weekly videos so yeah thank you again um, and I hopefully see you soon but in the meantime take care bye